Have you ever lost someone in your life that you feel so crazy, you don't know what to do, you don't know your left or your right? Do you want to know how to act in terms of losing someone? Now if you're about that, stick around, we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now the name is Cheesy. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below by saying I subscribe. I'll reply that in a moment. Now in today's video, we'll be talking about how to cope with grief and loss. Now let me tell you a short story. I lost my dad on 1st of January 2022. Now um, it was very hard for me because um, I love my dad so much. He was the best thing in my life. He was my king. Now, um, I felt so bad. I felt so dejected. I felt so inhuman when I lost my dad because um, he was my backbone. I, I talked so much with him. I laughed so much with him. I also quarreled with him, you know. That's how father and son behaves most times. Now, um, it made me feel so bad that I didn't know what to do. I didn't know my left. I didn't know my right. I didn't know how to cope with it and um, that made me to do this video right now because um, I know there's so many of us out there who don't know how to cope with grief and loss. Now it makes us go crazy, it makes us do some certain things that on a, on a normal day we don't even have to do that because it's a loss, it happens to everyone. Every day people die and every day people leave. So you need to understand that there are some things that you need to do on how to act when you lose a loved person or a loved one. Now, let's just dive right into the tips. Now, number one, let yourself feel the pain. You need to allow yourself to feel the pain. Feel the pain. If you want to cry, cry. If you want to roll on the floor, roll on the floor. If you want to shout, shout. If you want to jump, jump. This is exactly how you need to feel because, man, you just lost someone that you love, someone that you care for. Let no one tell you how to act or how to feel or how to cry or how to behave when you lose someone. Now, you need to cry. Don't act as a strong person, no matter how strong you are. Now, let me tell you, when I lost my dad, I acted as if I was strong. But little did I know that I had no strength because I cried like a little baby. I cried so hard that I didn't even know that I was crying. Because, man, I thought, man, you're grown up, so, man, you have to hold yourself. Because if you cry, what about your siblings? How would they feel? I didn't know when I said crying. I cried so hard that I didn't even allow anybody to touch me because that is exactly how I'm feeling that time and that's how I want to feel. So don't allow anybody to tell you how to feel when you lose someone so close to you. Let yourself feel the pain. Cry so hard. This is someone that you love. This is someone that is so dear to you. If you don't cry, you have another problem. That's your own problem. Now, do not forget just be reminded that people have a different way of reacting to things. Now, I might have my own way of reacting, you might have your own way of reacting, he might have his own way of reacting, she might have her own way of reacting. Now, I might be able to cry so much in reacting to someone that I love or someone that is dead in my family. Now, you might be reacting in another way by holding it so hard. The way you're reacting, it might not be the same way another person might be reacting, but it might still be on the same level, the same equal level. The only difference is that I'm crying, you're not crying. But you're still feeling it deep inside your heart that you lose someone or you just lost someone. So the effect that it will have on you might still be the effect that it's having on me, but we are not the same. So that's what you need to understand. So don't see people who react differently when they lose someone as weak or as strong because they might be acting the same way but in different perspectives. So let yourself feel the pain. Feel the pain of your loss. Cry when you want to cry. Don't allow anybody to tell you you need to cry for one week or one month or one year. If you are the type that cries for two years, cry for two years. Remember, this is a loss. This is someone that you love so much that you just lost. So have it in mind that you would be remembering this person each and every time you remember the memories. 
So the crying might continue. You might stop crying now, and in the next one month, two months, you will keep on crying whenever you remember the memories. I remember so many memories I had with my dad that um, it made me so down. Whenever I go out with my friends, the memories kick in, and I just bend down and start crying. And um, within five minutes or ten minutes, I'm over it. Then next time when I'm at work, I will start remembering memories um, when we do have problems. We talk at each other, we laugh, we cry, we go out, we have fun, we talk about things, and I start crying. So these things come and go. So just have it in mind that you keep on crying and crying because there is no amount of money, there is no amount of glory, there is no amount of anything that can bring them back. So all you need to do is to have the memories all within you because you would always have it with you wherever you go. Whether you're walking, whether you're traveling, whether you're eating, whether you're sleeping, the memories will always be there with you. And most times it kicks in and you remember them and start crying. So let yourself feel the pain. Then that brings us to number two, get support. And what did I say? Get support. Go out with your friends, tell people how you feel about your loss. Don't allow anybody to tell you, don't tell anybody about the loss because of your family, your family issue or whatever. Try to tell people about your loss. With that, it takes away so many burdens from you. Now, when you tell people about your loss, especially those that are in the same situation with you, those that lost loved ones to so where the mom or dad or siblings, they have different opinions to tell you to on how to act with your own loss. Now remember, you're not the only one in this situation. So many people are also in this situation. Now, how did they react to their own situation? Did they react bad? Did they react good? Remember, make sure you get the positive reaction, not the negative reaction. There are so many people who would find themselves in this situation and they will find a way to go crazy. They find a way to do bad things in life. Now, make sure you get the positive reaction and not the negative reaction because they will help you in life. They will help you in acting in accordance with your life. So get support from friends. Make sure you tell people, tell them how you feel, tell them how you lost your loved ones, tell them the memories you've had with them, tell them the ugly memories, the good memories. Just tell them everything, especially those that are in the same situation with you, whether they've, they've lost their mom or their dad or their siblings, like I said earlier. So make sure you get support. It will help you in the long run in coping with your grief or your loss. Now that brings us to number three, maintain your lifestyle. Try to keep your lifestyle. Remember, in the case of this situation, you might go crazy. You might start acting the wrong way. Try to keep your lifestyle, especially when you are on the right path. Don't fall from the right path to the wrong path. Maintain your lifestyle. If you're a good person, keep on being a good person. Don't turn to a bad person. If you're the kind of person who is generous to people, keep on being generous to people. If you're the kind of person that doesn't take drugs, that doesn't smoke, that doesn't drink alcohol, keep up that lifestyle. Do not change your lifestyle because of you're grieving or you lost someone. That's not the right way to act. I know it's so hard. I know it's easier said than done. But try as much as possible to hold yourself. Maintain your lifestyle, especially when it's a good lifestyle, especially when you are on the right path. Maintain your lifestyle. Don't start smoking. Don't start doing drugs. Don't start chasing women. Don't start drinking alcohol or being useless. All those acts will keep on tarnishing your image and your family's image. And let me let me tell you, your lost one, if it's your dad or mom or your sibling, they wouldn't be happy seeing you that way. So try to maintain your lifestyle. It's easier said than done. I'm not saying it's easy because it was never easy for me. It took me some time to, to get back to myself, but I still maintain my lifestyle because that's who I am. And I've lost my, my dad. It's okay, that's bygone. So I'm letting bygone be bygone. Okay? So try to maintain your lifestyle. Do not move away from your lifestyle, especially when you're a good person, especially when you are on the right path. Now, that brings us to number four. Find a way to heal. Try so much to find a way to heal because the deed has been done. You've lost your love one. So try to find a way to heal. Try to do things that will make you heal. If you love traveling, travel to places. 
Try to do things to make you heal. If you love going out with friends, go out with friends, have fun, go on vacations, holidays, and so on and so forth. These things will make you occupied. It will make you occupied that you, you know, you'll be happy, you feel yourself doing things out of the ordinary. You wouldn't always be indoors thinking about your loved one. Of course, you will still think about your loved one. It will always be there. The memories will always be there. Have you ever noticed that whenever you go out with your friends that, that have lost someone, uh, maybe something might happen, they will go on one side to sit down and think about their life? Or you might think that you are making them happy by taking them to a bar or to the beach or to the movies. They might see something that will make them remember their lost one or their loved ones. Now, these things happen. Memories come in. Even while enjoying, memories come in. So try to find a way to heal. You need to move away from the negative thoughts. That's why you need to heal yourself. Try and find a way to heal yourself. No matter how long it takes, whether it's one month, two months, one year, two years, but just try to heal yourself. Remember, there is no better way to tell someone on how to grieve and on how to act when he or she has lost a loved one. The only thing we can do is to support them, always be there for them, try as much as possible to make them be on the right path and not at the wrong path. So if your loved one is still alive, if your dad is still alive, if your mom is still alive, your siblings are still alive, you do not know what God has done for you. You need to start counting your blessings one by one because you don't know what God has done for you and you need to take it so seriously. Make our time with them, play with them, talk about life with them because you don't know how tomorrow would be. I wish I did so many things with my dad and um, I wish I could see him right now and tell him so many things that I wish he could listen. So please, if you have your loved ones still alive, make sure you make our time with them. I have so many conversations with them about life and about how things make you feel. Life is hard, but it's more hard when you lose a loved one, especially when the person is so close to you. I've been in that situation before and um, that's why I'm doing this video once again to tell you people on how to act because if you don't act the right way, then the wrong way will act upon you. So you need to understand this concept and make sure your life isn't miserable because you lost a loved one. Now we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for staying this far with me. Now please don't forget to comment below if you've lost a loved one, whether your dad or your mom or your siblings or you know someone who has lost a loved one. Please try to comment in the comment section below by telling us how you cope or how you went about by coping with your grief or with your loss. So please do not forget to comment, very, very important. Now please smash the like button, type on the subscribe button and do not forget to hit on the bell notification to get informed whenever I upload the next video just for you.